Another quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY that you can do for this fall. I saw the sign at Dollar Tree and I was like, that would make a really cute um, clock. So I decided to make a clock. I have this wood charger plate. Um, it comes from Target. It's the Hearth and Hand collection, but I got it. I can discount store for way less. So I'm going to take and put these two together. These two would make a really cute just sign too. You can add a little bow to this and it would be ready to go but we're going to make a wall clock out of this. So first I'm just going to take and get my drill, but you can probably do this without a drill. You just need something to punch that little hole in the middle. And this is a thin sign, so it really wouldn't be hard. But um, I always start with too small of a drill bit, um, which, uh, and also, sorry, you're going to need a clock part, like the components from a clock. You can get that from Amazon. You can get it. Um, I got mine from a craft store, but you can get it, like I said, from Amazon. You can get it from different places. So I'm just going to try to find the best center that I can find for this. I'm doing this on the back of the piece. So I'm figuring those two little holes there are kind of centered. So I'm just going in between those and then and just across where I think kind of the center is for that. So I'm just eyeballing it. You could take your time and measure it out really great to make sure it's perfectly centered. But um, I think I did a good job. So I took and drilled that little hole in there. And then I realized that hole was way too little for the clock part. So that's the main part. You just want to make sure that it's big enough to fit the clock part because it has the front part and then it has the back with the battery and all of that. So you just want to make sure that your pieces can fit. So I did change to a bigger drill bit. And um, I think this still wasn't even big enough. So I just like wiggled it around because I am missing my bigger drill bit. But um, you just want to make sure that that piece fits in there nice and snug once you do and you put everything together because of the back piece it doesn't sit flush with the charger plate so it will elevate on its own but just to have something to glue everything to i put these two little jingle blocks on the side so that i can make sure everything was connected make sure that's nice and center and then this is it right here all right so it doesn't have 12 pumpkins it has 13 pumpkins so um I'm going to number them. I was going to cut it with my Cricut, but to make it easy so that everybody can do it, we're just going to use these stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to number them, but you're not going to get a number on every pumpkin because there's too many pumpkins for, you know, 12 hours. So, or 24 hours in a day, 12 times two. Um, I'm just going to place them and just really eyeballing it. But you could, what you could do is take and put the clock on the times and then make sure everything is nice. But I think I did a good job. Um, and then once that is done, just to cover the holes, I was going to caulk it and then match the color paint. But I just decided to fill them with some faux florals and just give it even more of a full kind of feel to it. So I'm just taking fall florals from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put those in there. So I popped them off the stem. I popped a piece of greenery off the stem. And I just hot glue those down. You could take and add another little bow to this, but I didn't want it to be too, too busy. So I'm just going to take and on the back, okay, you can use this as a leaner or you can use it as an actual wall clock. If you want to use it as a wall clock, you can take like a thick piece of rope or something. You can staple it down. I would do that before this, or you can hot glue it down, or you can do a combo of both and see how that comes out. But you just want to make sure it's nice and sturdy because the charger plate is kind of heavy for this, but this is it. So quick, so easy. Another quick, easy fall decor DIY. All right, so I have this basket from Target. It comes in the dollar spot. They are five dollars. They come in other colors too. Usually for fall um, centerpieces, for any centerpiece, I use my dobo. But just in case you don't have a dobo, I wanted to show you that you can use just any kind of crate container to make your centerpiece for the season. I took these two trays that I have. They're like plastic, so they were um, bendable. And I stacked them in the bottom upside down just to have something sturdy to hold these vases also from the Dollar Tree on. You want something that, you know, the vases will be able to keep on. So I took those, put those on top of those two little plastic bins. And then I'm going to take some flow foils also from Dollar Tree. And usually I just pluck them off the stem. But because I want them to have a little height and I don't want to have to put anything extra in there, I'm going to keep the stem on. So I'm just cutting it like low on the stem so that I can have individual ones and they're not all connected anymore. I have these sunflower ones right here and it's pretty yellow. I have these. Are these called sunflowers? Daisies? I have these too. They look like the other ones. Maybe they're sunflowers too. I have these. They came from Dollar Tree. I have these from Dollar Tree. Just a bunch of folk florals from Dollar Tree. But before I finish placing them around and figuring out where everything is going to go, I love to put Spanish Seymour's 
on my pieces because it is a great filler to you know fill in your pieces and stuff so i took this fantasy moss but before i did that i took this decorative moss because um it has like green and then the green would be nice it has a little specks of brown in it but it had these cute little decorative pieces in it too so you can fill these with pine cones different things like that but i just spread a little bit of that around and then i put the spanish sea moss on top of it because usually i just do the spanish sea moss but this way you add a little greenery to it and it is just like a great filler and then you have those little filler pieces so once i was done with that then i came back in and i finished putting in the flowers where i wanted them to go if they are too tall you come too tall you you can just bend this stem and then I have these little pumpkin pieces also from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has a lot of great full decor pieces, craft pieces that you can grab. Those have a stem on them too. I have these leaves from Dollar Tree. I pop those off the stem though. I didn't keep those on the stem. And then to elevate the candles in the in the vases so that they're not low and you don't see them or you could just use toilet candles. I took these little tins from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack. I folded it at the base. It was real easy to fold so that they sit flat on the bottom. But you just want something, a clear piece would be nice in there too. You could fill it with rocks. You could do a bunch of different things. But just to elevate the candles in there so you don't see them. Then I have ribbon also from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm just, I was figuring out which color I wanted to use for this, but I took a, this thin orange one with like a gold trim on it that I think is really pretty. You want to measure it out, how much you need to go around your basket or your bowl or whatever you're going to be using. And then you can just snip it, make sure it's in place where you want it to be. And then you can hot glue that on the back there. You can put hot glue around a little bit on the sides too, just to make sure everything stays in place. And then I have this bow also from the Dollar Tree, comes in a pack of two. And I put that on there and this is how it turned out. It was so easy and you can customize it to fit in with your home style. Another quick and easy full DIY using Dollar Tree items, right? So I have this acorn piece from Dollar Tree. It's just like a flat little wood piece. So I'm going to paint the top part with this chestnut paint. I'm just going to give it one quick coat of it. You could also use a stain. You can do this in other colors. This might be really pretty in like a black with the white tile on it. But I did mine in this chestnut. Like I said, I just gave it one coat. I went down a little further than the top just in case... Um, the piece didn't cover the way that I thought it was going to cover, but you don't have to paint the whole piece. You'll just paint the top part, that part that will be out. And then I have this tile. So from Dollar Tree, you get these silver peel and stick tiles. They have a bunch of other ones too that you can pick from. I did this one at the project and then I had an extra one because I painted one too many. So I'm just going to use it, but you can just take, you can give it a coat. I gave it a coat with like a toasted marshmallow color. And you want to get in there good into all the cracks and crevices, unless you're just leaving the base silver. But I did two coats of this. Um, I didn't have a lot of paint, so I made it work, though, because I covered two tiles with this. And then for the top, I just used that brown paint from Dollar Tree, because this paint is really forgiving. Like, if you mess up, you can really wipe it off up until it dries. But um, So I just gave it, like, a light brushing just to bring out the details in the tile. And once that dried, then you'll have your tile piece. So to make the shape, I'm just flipping over the tile and using just a Sharpie just to draw out the piece this is going to be bigger than what you need because it is the outside piece so I'm just cutting directly on the line that I did draw I didn't draw a line across for the top so I'm just going to come up a little higher than I think it should be because it's better to cut more than to cut less because you can't go back once you cut this tile you'll notice the peel and stick part does separate so you would have to use hot glue. So I placed it on there just to see what everything was. And it was bigger at the top than it needed to be. So I just cut that down. Put on a ton of hot glue, especially around the edges. Because you want it to stick as flush as possible. And then I placed that down. You can hold it into place for a little bit. And then I cut off the little excess. Because there was still a little extra around the back there. And then you could leave it like that because it does kind of line up really nice and it really doesn't have a gap, the gap that I thought it was going to have. But I'm just going to give it just a little twine detail. So twine also from the Dollar Tree. And just to hold it in place because it's kind of like a curve that I cut there, I'm going to hot glue it just in little sections across the top. I'm just hot gluing that first piece and then I'm going to wrap the rest of the twine up top of that. 
So if you do it below it, you'll need to, you know, glue those in place. But I'm just having those pieces sit on top and then I'm tying it off in the back once I have enough of what I want there and then just cutting that excess off. So that part is real simple. You can also do this with ribbon. You can just get really creative with this. But I just did it with this twine from the Dollar Tree, kept it nice and simple. And then I have some faux greenery. Also, I believe this is from the Dollar Tree, but I just popped these little green pieces off of the stem and I'm going to glue those down to the top there. And then I'm going to make a messy little bow to cover that little hole up top too and just add another little detail. So I'm just cutting down some white ribbon. This is the hula skirt from Dollar Tree. So I cut that down and then some twine and then some ribbon also from Dollar Tree. I'm stacking those up and then just tying that off with the twine. So it's just real easy, real quick. I gave it a couple of knots and then I cut that and then I messed around with it, spaced it out and then cut it down just a little bit more because it was a little bit longer than what I wanted and then glued that into paste. And that was it. You could add something to hang this if you wanted to hang it, or you could just do it like a leaner like I did mine. Another quick, easy fall decor DIY. So I have this leaf wood piece from Dollar Tree. I'm going to take the little bow off of there. You can take it off and add it back on later. It's just really easy to pop off. I took the string off the bottom and then I'm just going to paint it this chestnut color. Okay, I had different intentions for this project because we did the acorn with the tile piece and I was going to do this the same way and it was going to be like matching pieces. So I wasn't really gentle with the paint on the top leaf part. I was just worried about covering the bottom part and getting around all the cracks and crevices, but I did get um, quite a bit on the top leaf part because I was going to be covering it. Um, when I went to grab the tile after I cut the piece for the acorn that we did, it wasn't big enough. Um, I do have another tile, but I didn't want to paint a whole tile for such a small little piece. Um, I tried to piece it together so that it would look like it would cover it, but it was still just little cracks and pieces that would have been left out. So I decided to scrap the tile and we're not going to have matching pieces. They kind of still do match though. But um, this is just how you do the tile. You can get this tile from Dollar Tree. It has these nice little raised details. I painted mine with like a toasted marshmallow color. You're going to want to get into all the cracks and the crevices. If you go light, you'll just be brushing over the top part. So you really want to get in there. If you're using a sponge brush like I did, you can pat in there. I didn't have a lot of this paint left, but I did manage to get two coats on two tiles for this. And then once those dried, I came in with this Dollar Tree brown paint. And this paint is great because it it's like forgiving so um when you are doing it if you mess up a bit you can just wipe it off but i just gave it a light brushing over the top just to bring out those details and let it dry but being that it wasn't big enough i'm gonna go over the top because i want them to look different i want them to both stand out so i'm taking the same color paint but this time i'm taking a wet sponge brush and i'm painting it and you can see it is already lighter but just to make sure that it is really a difference i took once i got the one coat on i took and i scraped off any excess paint with the clean part of the brush so i made sure to give it a light coat so the brush is wet that's why the color is coming out different you can still see where I was rough around the edges with that. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of sanding. So then it'll kind of have like a distressed look. And that paint right there is like lightening up just a little bit. So I just went around and did that around all of the edges where I had all of that excess paint at. So... I wanted to give it something in the middle. So I have this tra rub transfer from Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of these out now. Um, so I've used part of this before, but I'm going to use this like flower part at the bottom here. And this is just real easy. You'll cut around the pieces that you do want to use, and then you can place it where you want and lift off the back piece and then put it down and rub it on. It's real easy, real simple. The last few times I used it, it didn't turn out too great. I realized, um, because I let this paint dry for a long time this time, maybe the paint that I put it on was a little still wet. That's why it wasn't transferring because this transferred just fine this time. But I did that piece and then I wanted to do a little wording in the middle there. So the thing with these letters are they all are different sizes and they don't repeat any of the letters. So you'll just get one of each letter. So I was still missing an E. 
Um, but I have this rug transfer from Dollar Tree also, and it goes, it doesn't go, but it's okay because the letters are like, you know, different shapes and stuff like that. So I'm going to use those and I'm just going to do those one by one, lining them up, making sure everything is where I want it to be and just rubbing those on. I, you see the little white pieces there. That's just part of the paper that brushes right off perfectly fine. And then that was it. I added a little bow to the bottom and this is how it came out. It was so quick, so simple. You can customize it for your personal style.